Afternoon guys, it's Thursday afternoon. My cash did go in and uh, I've done a bit of shopping. <laughs> Didn't pay as much for these as you're probably thinking. Um, it's tempting to go back and get some more actually but they're all, so, well what he's got left are all the Windows XP era machines and I don't need any more of those. I mean, for what these cost me, I could have gone and got them for, just for the parts, but nah, I think I've got enough, to be honest. But anyway, what we have here, I actually have no idea what the brand of this one is. It seems to be a just a no-name brand with a door that opens. It's got an MSI motherboard, apparently. Um, Cooler Master Gear. I have absolutely no idea what this is, but it pulls out. Oh, hello. Wow. <coughs> wow. Um, mobile, right, wow. Is this an old server PC or something? No, I can't get the damn thing back in. lock, that's unlock, so that should, in theory, a bit of wiggling, go back in. <laughs> Something like that. There we go, I think, yeah, like that. We're in, right, so, this, I've never seen one do that before. I don't know the actual condition of these, he sold them as spares or repairs, so the chances are they don't work or could have faults with them, but anyone that's watched my channel for a while will know I've been after computers like this for quite a while. If you're curious on what he charged me for each of these, it was £10 each. Because uh, he's trying to clear out the basement in the shop. Um, because the shop's changing ownership. Uh, anyway, moving on. These, I did see a Windows 95 thingy on both of these. No, sorry, just this one. Don't know what this one would be, but this one's got Windows 95 sticker, so hopefully this Dell Dimension P120T, I'll be able to return to Windows 95. This one is a Viglan. A Viglan Contender P5 slash 75 ES. I have got a Viglan laptop, and that's a Windows 3.1, so I don't know if that's what this would be. Again, I don't know the condition of these, but uh, later in the video we will be plugging all of these in and seeing if they actually do anything. All I want them to do is just turn on and post. I don't care if they don't boot into an operating system or anything, I can solve that or cross that bridge later. I just want them to at least power up, you know, and put a signal out to me, monitor and whatnot. So, uh, as I said, later in the video we will go through these one by one. I'm not sure which one I'll start with yet. Probably this one, because that's actually one of the heaviest. And uh, we'll go from there. Just not, that floppy disk drive isn't looking too good. I may end up having to change that. I've got shed loads in the cupboard anyway, so it doesn't matter. Same with these. If they're broken, I can change them. So, on that note, I'm going to get myself organised and I'll be back in a few. Right, got everything plugged in, all turned on. This is the um, Dell Dimension P120T. It powers up. Just 
protected mouse and keyboard. I can hear a hard drive kicking in there. It's detected hard disk. I've got quantum fireball in there. Just turn the floppy disk drive seek. F1 for setup, escape to boot. Starting Windows 95. Will it? It'll be amazing if it starts. Looks like the CD-ROM may not work if it boot if it boots. I haven't heard that sound for a long time. We don't have a hard drive status light. Oh my god, it actually bloody boots. <laughs> wow, really? I even got some um, period correct peripherals to plug into these. Oh my god, I've got a working Windows 95 machine. <laughs> All for ten pounds. Well, this was worth. Well, it was worth the thirty quid I spent just for this one. Needs a damn good clean though. Oh, that has made me happy. I think the upright tower. It's doing a floppy disk seek again. I think that upright tower might have Windows 98 on it. Let me just uh, try and push that back a bit more. Can't push it too back, too far back, because I've got the. Uh, I think I know why this monitor was thrown out. No, 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 it keeps coming up with that. Answer Wizard Office. I feel like I've gone back in time. <laughs> Holy hell! There's some programs installed on this one. What have we got? Sound Blaster. Yeah, I haven't got the um, audio cable plugged in, but considering the whole thing works, and I'm going to presume audio looks like it does work as well. Just nuts and bolts. McAfee Fortress, McAfee this, nuts and bolts, PC checkup. Bombshell, a lot of several games installed on this. Wow, I'm impressed. I, to be honest, considering I only paid £10 for this, or £10 each, I think that was a bargain. Look at this. But like I said, I could, well, I could go, you know, the whole works and, um, I can't remember what it's called, but, you know, bleach it. Hydrogen peroxide bath, the plastic and whatnot. But I'm not going to, I'm going to turn it off. Thank you. Oh, a load of lines just appeared. Oh no, that's just the background. No, I'm nuts. Please wait while your computer shuts down. There's no safety. It's been years since I've seen that. <laughs> right, I'm going to shut you down and I'm going to bring in the Viglin, I think, next. We'll get these two out of the way. We'll see if the Viglin works, shall we? Okay, I'm set up with the Viglin. Turns on. See if this ah this one boots well we post but there's either no hard drive 
or I'm going to have to put an operating system on it because uh, clearly this hasn't got. What have we got here? Mode, hard drive. Well, there's no hard drive light, so it probably hasn't got a hard drive in it. Which doesn't matter, I've got a hard drive I can put in this. Actually, I've got a couple. Yeah, bootable media, so I would need. I wouldn't mind betting this one had like Windows 3.1 on it or something at some point. Which means in the future, I'll see if I can get the floppy disk kit and uh, or set on eBay and uh, we'll try and get this one working on 3.1 or something. I will also Google the number, model number I should say, in the machine and see exactly what we come up with. But uh, it is a working machine, technically. It turns on at least, which is always good. Right, I'm not going to bother shutting the camera down just for the last one. I'm just going to unplug everything. Uh, but I'm really happy the Windows 95 one works. If this other one works as well, I'll be double happy. Something just slid in this one. I think. No, it might just be my imagination. Right. Yeah, I'll leave the monitor that side. I think it's going to be the easiest option. Yeah, I've got a feeling looking at the motherboard in this one, it's going to be Windows 98. Possibly something even a bit newer than that. It's got four USB ports on it. We'll see when we turn it on. We'll see if there's anything on it. Many there, just a keyboard and mouse to plug in. Keyboard. Mouse. Okay, we're plugged in, bloody blah blah. I'm turn the switch on. We'll just whip this side panel off. It's got memory in it, There's driver disc in it, drivers and utilities, Adobe Acrobat Reader, Fuzzy Logic, Live Update, PC Alert, PC Silim, useful website. <laughs> useful website, that's all it says. Ah. This hard drive I pulled out isn't connected either. Oh, it's got a hard drive down here too. Ah. Right. I don't think this will be on, this might be on Windows 98, I don't know. Got that in there. Let me just uh, go get my RAM, which I have here. <laughs> Here's some I prepared earlier. Yeah. What we got in this pile? Any that I know that actually work would be good. on by itself. It's not meant to do that either. Ah! Ha ha ha! Told you! Ram failed! So recognising that... But why is the CD-ROM on slave? That should be on secondary master. Hello. No. 
Oh, so we've got a faulty disc drive on. Hey! <laughs> no, we haven't. It's just delayed. Is that going to turn off? Drive cable. Ah, that's why that's coming up as secondary. Oh, well, I've got one here I can play with at least, haven't I? I've, uh, I've got a case. If I can find a motherboard now, I've got a decent case I can put Windows 98 in. The motherboard is a bit too new, I think. But it is an MSI motherboard. Right. Hang on, the hard drive is on uh, slave as well. Is it set to slave then? Hmm, let's have a look. I can't tell. <laughs> what we'll do, I'll plug this IDE cable back in. Put power back in. I'm going to leave the CD drive as it is. We'll just see if that does anything, shall we? I didn't detect CD drive, did it? Right. All because someone had put the wrong connectors in. Um, I don't know. Maybe this one at the top is the prime. We don't need the CD drive at the minute. What happens if I plug this into this? And give it some power. Come up with disk boot failure in that one. So either the disk is gone, or it's not the main drive. Let's just plug it back in here. It don't help because that ribbon cable has actually gone and broken. Oh, for pity's sake. Ah, I guess I'm changing that one because I'm not going to consider that to be reliable. That's the second one I've thrown over there, isn't it? That's the floppy disk one. I'll tuck that bugger up there. Right. Yeah, I can't quite read to see um, what the jumper settings are set on. If I can read the settings, I'll know whether that's set to a slave or a, a main drive. I had a clean up yesterday, now I can't find the bloody doodah. Random zip tool. This has got 
four um, composite video sockets on this, whatever this card is. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So I'm wondering, as it's got four inputs, if this was actually like a um, um, CCTV PC, maybe. That's no good. Can't see it. Can't see it, Mum. But I think this motherboard is definitely a lot newer than the PC itself. Than the case, I mean. That doesn't matter. Technically it turns on, everything is sort of working. Well, I don't know about the hard drive yet. Or maybe it was a server, because it's got that... And now it's got that plug hard drive in there. Almost like you can hot swap the hard drive. cage in the front here to put a fan in and it looks like you put a really dinky little fan up here and I do mean a dinky little fan a very small fan actually it is an MSI motherboard but I can't see it's an MS6734 version 1 Well, for the fact I've got to keep money aside for Sunday, I would have gone back and got some more. Or at least had a look. But I think I've got a bit of a score here. I don't think it would take a lot to get this working again. Uh, so I've got a feeling this one is the main boot drive and that one is probably the storage drive. But I'm kind of thinking this might have been either like an office server PC or, like I said, something for CCTV or something similar like that. Because there's no no upgraded video card. And it's got this card in here, like I said. I'll take it out and just show you, actually. It's the only upgrade card it's got in it. It's got S89 written in black marker on the back, and then it's got S88 scribbled out. This is what we've got. That's new. <laughs> I take this out, it turns on. There's definitely, there could be, even be a motherboard issue with this. But yeah, that's what we've got, look. Four video inputs, I believe they're inputs. Just says video one, two, three, and four. For home or office use. Other than that, there's nothing written on it to give us any sort of uh, clue to who made it. Not a lot of help. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off for a little bit. I'm going to have a tinker with this and I'll be back later. I had to put the camera back on to show you this. I've got it to boot on Windows 98. What is it doing? It's doing all sorts of things. Ah! It was a surveillance computer. Look at this. Geovision Multicam Digital Surveillance System. You know, I've actually got CCTV cameras I could plug into this. <laughs> it's 
seems to have crashed, possibly. No, I can't get rid of this though. It could be because I've taken this out and it's trying to find that. But uh, can I shut this down? Yes. In task. I can't believe that's on Windows 98. Do you know how I got it to work? I replaced the ID cable. That's all I did. Told you that one that I took off was broken. But uh, this won't reach the other drive, so what I might have to do is put this one, the um, removable one, down, move it down two spots. Then this one I should be able to make it reach. But uh, I'm going to stick this back in. It's really weird it does that. I just plugged it in, it's just turned itself on. But, uh, if you watch it, we should boot Windows 98. <laughs> so, I've got a surveillance rig. I had a feeling that was surveillance because of that. So this was probably used, I wouldn't be surprised if this was used as in a local business. That had obviously a maximum of four cameras because that's all you can put in that card. I suppose you could put other cards in there, or a card with more sockets on, I don't know. And I'm guessing this removable drive would have been the storage drive. I haven't got the CD-ROM connected yet either. I've, uh, I have, though, got another IDE cable for that one. Oh, it has actually crashed this time. <laughs> right. Oh well. I'm going to turn off this way. Am I going to have to flick the switch? I'm just going to turn off that way. Right. I'm going to continue to have a play with this one. I know it sort of works. I'm guessing if I have to, I would just have to reinstall what I can. Anyway, I had to show that that's all I did was just replace the IDE cable. What had happened, the plastic bit that goes across here had broken off, so obviously the cable wasn't making a good enough connection. That's why I changed it. And uh, that was obviously the problem, so I'll be back later. You know what? Screw it, I'll leave the camera on. Um, Oh, I'll see that it's power. I'm just going to go turn the main lights on because it suddenly got dark. Might be in for another little storm. Had a little storm this morning. Right, what I'm going to do... I'm going to move this bay. Um, so what have we got in there? Oh, we've got a Fujitsu. Um, date 2000, 8th 2000, 12 volt, does it tell me how big it is? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Sometimes it'll say in like megabytes instead of gigabytes, it doesn't even say that. Or at least I can't find it anyway. For technical information, I wonder if that website still exists. <laughs> 
That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Because right, yeah. I want to... might actually see if I can find a shorter floppy cable because that is taking the mickey. Um, but yeah, let's just drop this down as far as it will go. Wouldn't it be really cool if I get a... Um, upgrade card to connect more hard drives to and I get some, another couple of these bays. This looks like it had some upgrades in it at some point because the um, it's got these blanks screwed in but it's also got the original br um, blanks that you've got to snap off. So I am actually wondering this door is actually a pain in the ass when you're moving this around. Because it likes to move as well, or likes to do that, and it, I'm actually surprised it still works as well as it does after all these years. You know that the catch hasn't broken. One more screw. CD drive can stay where it is. I'm going to connect that up next. And that kind of got stuck in the plastic. <laughs> Open that up. Oh. Did I do that? I think I might have done that. Yeah, I did. Let's see if I can fix that. If not, I'm just going to leave it off. No, I've just gone and broken it off anyway. Never mind. It's just a door at the front. Oh, yeah, I did. Oops! Boo booed already and broken a bit of it. Right, there's one blank. There's a second blank. Ah, so it's got LEDs on it. That's the lock. Right. Lock's got to be unlocked. That comfortably slides in here. Ah! Now I know why that was put up there. Because it won't go down there. Crap. Now what am I going to do? Um, it be enough, is it? Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? It is! <laughs> Just bodged in a uh, extension. <laughs> right. Put these blanks back in. No, not close the door, put the blanks in. Like that. One. Must be a bit rough at sea because we've got the old seagulls about. There we go. Alright. Screw the bloody case back in then. Bit of a pointless exercise, really, wasn't it? I didn't think of that when I took it out. <laughs> Just make sure that stays level. It's only screwed into plastic, so I don't want to over tighten it. All that happens, you actually uh, pull half the plastic with your screw, like that one did. doesn't want to screw in and I got that bloody thing stuck. Could be because the thread's actually full of crap. Oh, it doesn't fly. Hopefully I can get this to boot without it crashing. Like that, go in like that, that's all connected. Put the power back in I suppose. Tuck the 
floppy disk drive cable up there out of the damn way. That's connected. I suppose I better put a couple of screws back in this side. It's not even gone in properly. Bloody crap, this thing. Well, someone's actually used a self tap out here. Might be what I might change them to. I've got a bundle of them. I think that's what's actually meant to be in there. Do that later though. Right. Let's give it another whirl, shall we? Turn that switch off. Oh, shit. I'm not sure I can get up there now to get this cable in. Because uh, I've totally forgotten about the um, CD ROM drive. I don't know if I can get my hand up there enough to. Get it, can I? Oh yeah, yeah I can. Right, that end's got to go in the board. drives are going to work without power. Like that. Keyboard. There's a lot of computers throw a hissy if they're not connected. Mouse. Not so much the newer ones though. There, right. Beep. Wow. Actually connect everything up, turn the power on and it doesn't turn on by itself. Alright, so we've got green light there. That locks across. It's only detecting that one drive. And that doesn't want to boot either. It's not detecting the um, CD-ROM drive either. That's because the cable has popped off. <laughs> oh, for pain's sake. Molex connectors, power connectors, a bit of a pain in the ass to get off. Let's plug back in. I am going to unplug this because it could be this adapter that don't want to work. I can. Like that. I don't see why it wouldn't work though. No, that proves it's powering up at least. I'm just going to detect this time. Anything? Just 
taken a long while. Didn't plug the power back in for the CD drive, did I? There. <laughs> For some reason, it's still only detecting the um, CD drive as a slave, not a primary. But I've got it on the slave, on the primary thing. Ah! I think I know how they did it. I think I think that CD-ROM has been set as a slave by the jumper, and this this drive gets connected to here. So I need to swap that cable. Okay, well, I can do that next time I turn it off. Let's make sure it's going to boot again. That might be why the cable was round the wrong, or what I thought was round the wrong way up here. <coughs> I don't know if it's going to... Buttons up, you bag of blank. I will get it all working properly, trust me. Whatever it takes, it's going to work properly. Right, let's move the plug. That one in there. I'll get there eventually. So I'll just turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. What I'm going to do is swap some cables around. I do we're going to get another one of these, really? And that one in there. This one in there. And this one up that way. Hopefully, in the top, if I can get my hand in there. Let's get it lined up with a socket, I should be able to. Like that. This one. Mark it back in. An old motherboard actually, it's only got a 20 pin connector. You definitely don't see that much nowadays. Okay. Right. Yeah. Pardon me. Juice it up. And two. 
like so. Right. Open that so I can see what it's doing. It's powered up. That drives a spun up. I didn't see what that was. Uh, I presume it's all recognised then. I'll just get my. Yeah. I've got to let that run the check thing as well. I'll uh, turn you back on when it's done. Now that I've got everything connected as it should, it's all worked and it hasn't crashed. So for 30 quid, I've got. A Windows 98 rig, a Windows 95 rig, and a project. I can't complain at that really, can I? I've got two of the PCs that I've been wanting for ages, so I can get cracking with that corner in the lounge, you know, with all the various PCs I want. I wanted to set up and put through the... Uh, um, KVM switch, so I just used the one monitor and keyboard setup, and uh, I've got it. <laughs> this is powering up, but it's not accessible. Apparently, it's faulty. So um, let's just go back into my computer. The graphics seem to be working all right, so I'm guessing this is a really, really early. Windows XP motherboard that someone's put Windows 98 on that might be why all the drivers and everything are still I don't know if the audio works I haven't checked it yeah there's still something wrong with these IDE cables it's not working um, so I'm going to have to I don't think there's actually anything wrong with the devices, it's probably something I've done with the IDE cables. Something still not right, but uh, I can play with that later. Either way, I'm happy this is actually working, <laughs> look. <laughs> I'm going to have to connect um, the audio cable up later and just see if audio works. I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. What is it doing? <laughs> and that no, I was recognizing everything though. I'm sure I clicked shut down and not restart. I'm going to try that again. Comes up. To install motherboard resources. No. That might be what that disc is for, you know. Shut down. Shut down. Okay. Now turn off. If you don't turn off, I'm going to have to do it by the switch. Yeah, no key prep. What the fuck? Go away. Okay. Are you going to shut down or stay shut down this time? I'm not just going to do that cycle. Okay. So, there's still an issue there then. I'm getting hungry, but yeah, I'm getting hungry. I'm going to go and find something to eat, preferably before it pisses it down with rain. So, if you like this video, you like the uh, like looking at these old PCs, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give the video a thumbs down. But uh, on that note, I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.